The air inside your home keeps you warm in the winter and cool in the summer. It's circulated through your heating and cooling system. Now the air is sucked into the system through an air return. Here it's either cooled or heated and then sent out to your registers to keep you comfortable. And your house is breathing. Now that air as it circulates can pick up dust and particles and eventually the ductwork can get dirty. That's where Troy Zimmerman comes in. Troy is a home performance expert. He knows how houses work inside and out. Hi Troy, I know you're cleaning the ducts in this home. Tell us why someone should consider cleaning their ducts. Well, we have a lot of reasons why somebody would go about having their air ducts cleaned. Uh, one of the primary reasons is, is health related, you know, if they have uh, allergies or sensitivities to dust. Um, some people are just remodeling their homes and, and maybe just moving into a house. You may notice that there's some contaminants inside of the duct system. Now we're down in the lower level here and, and, and talk to us a little bit about the process because we're standing in front of a machine that that really helps you do the job. Tell us a little bit about what we're looking at here. Well, this is a, a commercial HEPA vac. Uh, it produces 4,200 CFM of vacuum. It has three layers of filtration inside of it. And most importantly is we don't want to recontaminate the air inside of the house. So this removes all contaminants down to 0.02 microns, leaving behind hospital quality air. What we do is we take and we hook this up to the duct system. This tube would be uh, connected here to the top of the vacuum. Uh, we have other equipment that can be used by different contractors where they have a truck mounted uh, vacuum and they run a large tube such as this all the way inside of your home. Um, during that process they really lose quite a bit of airflow due to the static pressure. Um, so we like to take this machine apart, bring it into the basement, reassemble it and connect it right here to the furnace. Troy, I know a lot of the ducts are hidden in the walls, but you've got special equipment that can allow you to really get into those spots that you can't necessarily reach directly, right? That's correct. You know, in, in combination with this vacuum, we use compressed air from truck-mounted equipment, and we have a power whip system that basically has a lot of fingers on the end of it. As we feed that down into the duct system, it knocks loose all that dust and, and contaminants, and we push that uh, with aid of the vacuum back to um, the, the furnace and, and out of the duct system. And I, I was looking in here, uh, Troy, and, and you're getting some, uh, some serious grunge uh, created here, aren't you? That's correct. Yeah, there's some pretty disgusting stuff in there, but you see, you know, dog hair and, and dust and, and debris. Um, it's just kind of standard, um, you know, stuff that you will find inside of your duct system. Uh, this duct system had been cleaned before, approximately five years ago, so this is wow. uh, what, what we've cleaned out of there just today. So how often should someone have their ducts cleaned? Generally every three to five years is what we'd recommend, but um, as people have, again, health-related issues with, with breathing or maybe asthma, uh, we can even come in and clean those on a yearly basis. Now you've got specialized tools like this, so is this something that we leave to the professionals or could a homeowner try to do this on their own? This is definitely something you're going to want to use specialized equipment for and we are trained um, to, to be doing this process as well. Let's talk a little bit, I imagine you, you've probably seen a lot of different things and found some different things and uh, tell us a little bit about some of the maybe the surprises or the, the dirtiest jobs that you've had cleaning ducks. Yes, we've, uh, we've really ran across some stuff. Um, unfortunately, we've even found dead critters and that sort of stuff inside of the duct system. Uh, but we've even had projects that are so dirty that we've had to stop the cleaning because the vacuum gets completely uh, plugged up. Uh, we've had to empty it out several times in wow. one particular project. So how long does the process take? I'm sure it depends in terms of the size of the home that you're working in, but can you give us a sense of the, the ballpark, the time? Uh, generally three to five hours on, on most homes, but again, as you get into to larger uh, properties, it can, it can definitely take longer. Okay, and then how about also we like to give our, our viewers a sense of cost for duct cleaning? Uh, a standard ranch home will cost anywhere from four to five hundred dollars, um, and then it goes up from there according to you know the size of the house and the amount of time it takes. And again, you bring in specialized equipment, and I, I know you said when you're really looking and doing a whole house evaluation as you clean the ductworks here, right? That's correct. As we go register to register and we start removing stuff and, and peeling back layers, so to say, you know, we're looking for areas that we can help that homeowner improve on the quality of their air. Well, Troy, thank you. You've shared some great information with you. I know Megan's going to come out and join you next, and you're going to do some sealing of, of the ducts. We'll look forward to that. If you'd like to learn more ways to keep your heating and cooling system in shape, visit our website at powerhousetv.com.